Here's the report. Francis ended up swimming. So did Josh. Today we're gonna kayak the Brule. We're going from County Road FF up to Highway 13. Uh, should be a great day. And they got about an inch and a half, inch and three quarters of rain over the last couple days. Life's an adventure, so get out and live. This stretch gets interesting right away. Basically, you strap in, round the first bend and you start hitting some fast moving water. It does slow down a little bit before the first set of ledges, which is probably ideal for most people. On this day, the fishermen were out they were trying their best because it was a great day. Um, and we saw a lot of them, but uh, they didn't do very well. Out of all the people we saw, only one person had actually caught anything. These are the maze ledges. And as you can see, they're basically spillover dams. Um, these can definitely cause some tricky problems if you're not experienced with this kind of water or and if you don't have a spray skirt. So definitely strap in if you have that option. We did see some people emptying out their boats. We, we had to empty out some water as well. But hey, it's fun. You made it through and then you pointed and then we had to use your You want to go first then, Bob? Remember, avoid down trees. Avoid overhanging trees and stuff. This comment ends up being a bit of foreshadowing. You should always try to avoid trees and things that are hanging over because they really cause problems, especially for inexperienced paddlers. This particular stretch of the rapids was my favorite. It was long, it was technical, it was fun. This, this was a great chunk of water right here. So I don't know what this would have been like if it had been lower water levels, but at this, it was just awesome. First impressions of the Brule, this river is awesome. And class three is what we're running right now. The water is definitely pushing along pretty quick. Um, it helps that we got an inch and three quarters of rain. So it's fun. It's a lot of fun. These ledges are unexpected though. Realistically, we should probably be scouting these instead of just shooting them. But whatever, we're just running it. Keep your hand on your paddle. Keep your hands on your paddle. Okay. So we're making great time because this section of the of the Brule River has a very high gradient. So it drops a whole bunch over a relatively short period of time. Um, we're currently stopped to empty out boats. Frances has decided that maybe it's a little bit too much for her right now. I totally get that.
From about this point to basically the landing, there's not really much for rapids anymore. Uh, just a nice pleasant paddle, lots of twists and turns. As you can see, this turn in the river actually does have some hazards. The trees are hanging out over the river and it narrows down, so it's actually pretty pushy. It's not a problem for me. I'm used to this kind of water. You just keep paddling. Um, don't try to fight the current, kind of go with it, but make sure you're paddling out away from the trees. And I get through just fine. That's not the case for Francis, Joshua, or Trevor. Um, the way I heard it, the boys were screwing around, got hung up in the tree. That created a problem for Frances. She ended up swimming. Boys ended up swimming. It's just a total mess. Not, not a very good way to get through there. Um, but ultimately, we were all fine. It ends up being kind of funny, though, because we actually did this river again. We went a second time, we got to this point, I even pointed out to them, make sure everybody's prepared, and, well, you'll see what happens here, and my reaction. If you're ever in this situation, do your best to just avoid the obstacle. Um, definitely don't try to hang on to it because that's usually going to result in you going horizontal with the river and that'll push down your upstream side of your boat and it'll push the boat under the water and that's where you can get hung up in the branches. Um, you want to try to make your way to the center of the river and then when things calm down that's when you make your way to the edge. Do you ever paddle? But you don't want to get stuck in any other obstacles don't either. Don't your hat. Do you see her paddle? Now at this point, Chris and I start trying to find everything that spilled out. Um, that went yard sale, as we like to call it. I start cleaning up everything, get boats to good spots, start emptying those out. I have a bilge pump, but I never bring it with on trips anymore. It just takes too long. The easiest way is to grab a friend and empty it out. If you don't have a friend, do it yourself. If you got a, if you got a drain plug, that's even better because it it makes it super easy. There's Highway 13, here's the landing.
I'm in the way. Oh, you got the word. Here's the report. Francis ended up swimming. So did Josh. But Francis and Josh are both willing. They're both willing to go again, which I think is a testament to how much fun this river is. Um, it didn't feel super dangerous, but they did get hung up in trees. And that's never a good thing. Francis, how's the Brule River? How's the water? It feels really good. <laughs> I didn't get wet at all. <laughs> Maybe a little. But I put my swimsuit on. See? Right. <laughs> we, we had planned to go swimming. We are at the Highway 13 landing. So the stretch we did um, took us just about two hours. We definitely had good water flow, so Honestly, we're four out of the five of us definitely want to go again, take another attempt at those class three. At the most, it doesn't feel like this run would take that long unless you were dragging the entire way and had to get out and walk.